Hi guys, hope you're doing well today. So I have had a lot of requests for makeup videos and uh, while I am no professional makeup artist by any means, I'm self-taught, I watch a lot of tutorials and just, you know, uh, experiment by myself, I thought I would just share with you guys uh, the process. It varies a little bit every time because um, I do like to improvise. And so as I was getting ready this morning for a friend's wedding, I filmed the process and I'm gonna walk you guys through it, let you know what products I use today um, and basically show you the transformation from potato glow to tina glow. First, I start with my Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation, which I blend with a beauty blender that is a little bit wet. You squeeze out all the excess water and you make sure to get that all into your skin. Take your time. I pat it in. I'll probably go over my entire face 10 times or so. Um, not reapplicating, but just making sure that the product is soaking into your skin. Then on top of that, I layer the uh, a BB cream, the 5-in-1 Miracle Skin Perfector from Garnier. And then I apply the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter. So it's a liquid highlighter and I blend that in as well. The concealer I'm using today is one of my absolute favorites. It is by NARS. Uh, the color that I use is Light One, and uh, it is a soft, matte, complete concealer, which blends also really, really nicely um, with the same beauty blender. Next, I take my MAC Studio Fix in NC25, and I powder it all over my face on top of the liquid foundation and concealer. For contour, I always use the Hoola Bronzer, which is amazing. It blends really, really well. I first put it on uh, along my nose to make it look a little bit smaller with a stiff brush. All the brushes that I'm using are from the Shani Pro Signature Brush Set, which is a 24-piece set. Um, I am blending here with the F71 Fan Brush and also the F19 Slanted Contour Brush. So I kind of suck my cheeks in um, and see where that natural line would go if my cheeks were a little bit more um, angled and hollow. Uh, and then I just blend and just keep blending and blending and blending until it looks natural. I'm blending out uh, the contour on my nose to go over my eyes a little to um, really accentuate the shape of the brow bone. After I'm done with the contour, I use this translucent powder that I got on Amazon. Actually, most of the products um, that I use, I do get on Amazon. The link will be below in this video description. So I am not super experienced with baking. I've been trying to uh, experiment with it more. So as you can see, I am putting this translucent powder and letting it set on my face on the areas that are going to be a little bit brighter, a little bit lighter. Um, and then during the baking time, which I think I'll leave for about five minutes, I'm going to start prepping my hair. And today I wanted to do a bit of a 20 style wave. And as you know, it's very, very difficult and time consuming to do a finger wave with gel, the old school style. So I found, again, on Amazon, uh, this waver that's awesome. And it's super easy to use, as you can see. I've already applied um, a hair heat protectant, so please make sure to do that before you heat style your hair. I usually don't even blow dry my hair, so I do um, use heat tools very, very rarely. But for today, because it is my friend's wedding, it's a special occasion, I decided to do that. And I just keep working my way down, and I spray each section with this Aussie volumizing hairspray after I complete the, you know, the crimping of each section. My hair is stick straight and does not uh, absolutely refuses to hold a curl if I don't spray a lot of hairspray on it so you know it's always the opposite girls with curly hair want straight hair girls with straight hair want curly hair um, so anyway I keep going um, and then I think I've reached about the five minute wait for my face baking so I'm just gonna clip the sections off um, and then come back to my hair after I finish with my makeup then, using the F14 medium powder brush from the Shani set, um, this is actually the same brush that I use also to apply my powdered foundation, the Studio Fix, um, and to wipe off the extra translucent powder. I'm going to accentuate the area underneath my eyebrows, which are currently barely there, <laughs> uh, with the Sephora Brow Enhancer, and the color is number two, Beige Shimmer. The three MAC eyeshadows that I am using today are from Light to Dark, Mythology, Coppering, and Sketch. 
Using the F21 blending brush, which is super fluffy and soft, I first apply mythology all over both lids very gently up to uh, right below the brow bone. So where we highlighted the area, we don't want to get to that area. So I blend and then slowly I start adding um, the second color, which is coppery. It's a little bit darker, has a beautiful orangey tone. Um, I apply that first with the same blending brush and then also incorporate the E17 eyeshadow buffer brush from that same set we talked about before. I use that brush also to apply color underneath my eyes. Uh, again, keep in mind, I haven't planned anything out, so I uh, ended up with this kind of gothy, um, Asian gothy, uh, rosy look. So this is what we're doing today. Here is when I noticed that my eyeshadow had accidentally gone way too high. I did exactly what I recommended that we do not do, which is go too high on the brow bone. So I'm using the E11 eyeshadow brush and just running a little bit of that, um, actually the face powder we used earlier, the NC25. Um, and so I'm brushing that to fix the shape of the eyeshadow. Now I take the MAC Eye Coal, which is a pencil eyeliner in Smolder Jet Black color, and I line the inside of my eyes. Then I take the E25 Slanted Eyeliner Brush, and I just kind of brush it out um, so the eyeliner, if it gets a little messy, no worries. You just take the brush and kind of smooth it out. For any eyeshadow drops or mistakes, um, a wet Q-tip always does the trick. Then I take another MAC Eye Coal, which is a uh, eyeliner pencil in the color Fascinating, which is white, and I highlight the inside corners of my eyes. This is one of my favorite tricks. When I perform on stage, I usually use a glitter or something a lot more dramatic, um, but since this is more of a day-to-day -day look, I just use a simple white eyeliner. I always love to apply a liquid eyeliner on top of the pencil eyeliner, so if you are feeling extra today, uh, you can do that as well. Today I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Super Slim Infallible 12 Hour uh, Liquid Eyeliner, and I am just applying a basic cat eye uh, to my eyes. Now back to eyeshadow. I am using the same brush that I used before, E17 Eyeshadow Buffer Brush, uh, and the color Sketch, which was the darkest of the three that I showed. And I'm just gonna contour uh, the shape of my eyes. So I am Asian, if you haven't noticed. Uh, and I'll, I have a little bit of a natural double eyelid, but um, it really, really helps to accentuate it. So I kind of feel where the natural brow bone lies. If you take um, the opposite end of any brush and you kind of put push above your eye, you can feel where the socket is. So that's usually a, a good indicator of where you could be blending. I am using the Brow Sculpt Brow Pencil by MAC today. It's actually my very first time using this particular brow pencil. Uh, the color is Brun, not brown, but Brun, B-R-U-N. And I love the fact that it is a very, um, almost a waxy uh, substance in addition to the color. So it really helps the little brow hairs if you have ones that are stubborn. Um, that helps them stay in place. And you have the handy dandy little spoolie on the other end so you can kind of brush it. Um, so take your time when you do your eyebrows. I think everybody's eyebrows are such a unique and personal thing that the best thing to do is just to experiment. Um, I've used stencils, I've tried all kinds of different shapes, and I personally just prefer uh, the higher arch look. Okay guys, we're almost there. <laughs> so now to the eyelashes. I am curling them with this eyelash curler. I have no idea what the brand is, but it is also on my Amazon list. Very inexpensive and it works great. So I just curl my tiny lashes, then apply this base from L'Oreal. It's called a Voluminous Primer, and it's amazing. It really adds a nice layer, especially if you have very small eyelashes like I do, um, just to you know have that base there for the mascara to cling on to. So I apply it to both the top and bottom lashes, um, and I also apply from the top, so over the top of the lashes and below, just to really, really, really get it in there. Now we are going to let that eyelash primer rest and soak in. Uh, so in the meantime, for maximum efficiency, we're gonna work on our lips. I am using my favorite lip liner from Clinique. It is uh, the Quick Liner for Lips Intense and the color is number eight in Tense Cosmo. Even though my lips are already pretty full, I do like to overline to give that plumpy look. So um, I use a combination of the actual pencil and the lip liner brush to gently just push the color a little bit over where my natural lip line would be. 
I have been using this Aesthetic Hut Contour Series, uh, it's a lip set, for two years now. Um, so I'm just picking some of the colors first to draw over where I use the lip liner. And then I'm using the white color to highlight and to contour the very uh, bottom of my bottom lip, the center, and a little bit in the center of the top, and it gives you this nice pouty look. It's highlighter time! I use the Glow Kit from Anastasia in Sun Dipped, uh, a combination of the colors Moonstone and Summer. So I first apply it to the top of my uh, cheekbones, and then the tip of my nose, along my bridge of my nose, a little bit on the forehead, and also over the top of my top lip to make it pop a little bit. And now for the blush. This is by Tarte. The color is Party with three A's. It is an Amazonian clay 12 hour blush. So after I blend the blush into the apples of my cheeks, I go back to my F14 medium powder brush and I blend everything that's on my face all together so that there's um, no awkward lines so it's all very smooth. The primer on my eyelashes is definitely dry now, so I am applying my eyelash mascara, which is Voluminous Lash Paradise, also by L'Oreal. Just like the primer, I put it on the top and bottom lashes. After that, I am using these rather inexpensive eyelashes today. Um, I'm just going to measure them. Usually you want to see if it extends over a little bit too far. If it does, you can always cut them, but these are the right length for me. I find that the easiest way to get glue on your eyelashes is to just uh, squeeze a little bit onto your hand and then I dip the eyelash strips just like that right into the glue and then you let them dry for maybe a minute or so to let the glue get tacky. Then lean your head back so that your eye is a smooth surface on top and you kind of just place it on there. plop. And careful not to move your eyes around too much. Let them dry. Give it a minute or so. Um, and there you go. Then it's time to take out the hair. Finish um, using the little waver. And then I'm going to go get the dress. Ta-da! And there you have it. Here I am from Potato to Tina. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial, please leave comments below. If you have any requests for different looks that you might have seen me do on stage or in a music video, let me know and I will do my best to duplicate it. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. If you would like to see the products that I used, uh, everything is in my Amazon link, which is below. It's just amazon.com slash shop slash Tina Guo. Have a great day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.